What's up guys? So yesterday I made a video on uh, my prediction for the 2016 uh, electoral map and I just realized that I messed up on some states because I didn't realize the details of what uh, of what some states actually thought of this election. I went on the basis of the 2012 election, not this election, um, because I, I just what I don't what I basically just did was um, what I did was um, went by what states normally vote for, and I kind of mixed that up. We're well, not mixed up, but I kind of combined it with the polls that it's um, showing for this election. Even though these polls don't really matter yet, because there's been no debates against uh, the two running mates or uh, the two uh, parties nominees, so um, I'm gonna redo my the video from yesterday, and I'm going to show you for real what I think because I didn't realize what some states were actually thinking of. Um, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. So, <clears throat> uh, here's my prediction. And Washington stays blue. California stays blue. Oregon goes blue. No change for Oregon. Nevada, I did not realize the, um, I, I thought it was just going to be blue because, you know, just because it's normally blue, but apparently the polls are favoring Trump right now, so I'm going to go Republican for Nevada. Arizona, red as always. That hasn't changed for me. Um, these two, I'm not sure about. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave those blue. Iowa, I'm going to change that to Republican. or I, I think that was already Republican for me, but I mean, um, yeah, that... <laughs> If it was Republican on the other video, then I apologize, and that's going to stay red. Illinois, that stays blue, because Chicago, it's pretty much like half their population. Uh, Michigan, I'm going to go with Democrat. Wisconsin, Democrat. Pennsylvania, I don't know yet. I, I actually did say they're going to definitely go blue, but... So far in this election, it's an unknown for Phil or for Pennsylvania. New Hampshire, I don't know about the either. I think Ohio is going Republican. I think Virginia is going Democrat. I think North Carolina is going Republican. Georgia, I think, is going Republican. Florida is I Florida I think is going Republican. Uh Pennsylvania. Let's give Trump the uh, boost he needs here, and uh, let's go with uh, Trump for this, because right now it's 50-50 for Pennsylvania, in my opinion, and that already brings him over the top. And New Hampshire, I I saw a video of some guy, he thought New Hampshire was going to go red. I'm not going with that. I'm, I'm thinking it's blue. Um, Maine, I'm changing that to Democrat because it's just, like, why would they vote Republican if... There's like uh, honestly, what's so what's so good about Trump that like Maine gets a friggin' uh, Trump owner, even though I don't I don't dislike Trump, but it's, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. Um, oh shit, no, I cannot. Um, so yeah, this is my actual or my updated map. And yeah, so I think before I left Pennsylvania, I put Pennsylvania Democrat and Nevada Democrat, and I think that's, this is what it looked like before, I think. Uh, I may have, oh, I think North Carolina is also blue, but um, this is my updated, you know, it's like one day after I realize that I messed up after watching a bunch of videos because some people I, like Pennsylvania I'm still not sure of I it's a 50 50 chance I just gave it to Trump just because um, 
I don't see how he's going to lose many states um, that are swing states because it's Trump, you know. He like wins everything. <laughs> um, Nevada. I've apparently heard that there's a lot of people that like Trump over there. Um, so I thought Las Vegas was like a really liberal uh, city. And that's the only city I thought that actually had a lot of people in it. That makes it, that makes a difference in the state, but apparently not. So um, that's going to be red for me, at least. Um, so this is my updated map from yesterday. <clears throat> and I hope this is better. It, this is what I actually think is going to happen. Um, so California is definitely staying blue. The ones in dark blue are definitely going to go, are definitely going to stay blue. Oh, shh. why is Connecticut going red? Um, New Hampshire, that's still up for grabs. That's still like up for question. But I'm going to say that it's going to go blue because just for the plain fact that it's in the Northeast and even the Pennsylvania is in the Northeast. Um, Philadelphia is really the only city, the only really major city that has an overflow of Democrats in it. So like all the rest of Pennsylvania is going to probably go Trump. <clears throat> New Hampshire, I think they're going to go blue because I don't see any indication that they're going to go red. Um, Virginia, they're right next to Washington, D.C., and they pretty much, yeah, they're right next to Washington, D.C. Washington, so um, they're going to go blue because I feel like there's more people on the eastern side, which tends to be more of a liberal side of the state. <clears throat> And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that's gonna be blue. I'm not completely sure yet, but that's what I'm thinking. North Carolina, it's, I don't see how Trump can lose North Carolina. He's been campaigning, campaigning in that state for almost his, his entire campaign, or almost the entire election process. So I'm, just, I'm gonna uh, make that a red state. Um, New Mexico, this is still up for grabs. This, if it goes Republican. Trump gets 290. If it goes Democrat, Trump gets 285. Um, so yeah, this is my legit uh, prediction for 2016 election. This is updated. Don't uh, just ignore. Don't ignore the last video I made. Just um, have this be an update for you because I have done my research. And I changed my mind. So this is my map. So hope you enjoyed. Again, uh, I'll update next month, and we'll see what has changed and what has not changed. I'm pretty much gonna go off the polls, like off the basis of the polls, and um, until debates start. And then once debates start, I'm gonna actually be really, really serious. So see ya.